The other thing we looked at are the true cost of wellness programs. How many have seen the number that Sherm's put out and others? That it's about $700 per employee. How many have seen that number? Well, we spoke to two Fortune 25 companies that do a lot of the research, and they said that doesn't take into consideration the soft cost of admin, loss of productivity, and false positives. When you add that up, it's somewhere between $2,500 to $5,000 per employee every single year. How many have heard the number that $1 of investment gets you $3 in return? Okay, that's the most popular meme quoted. There's no research on it. Now, you can Google it and find 250,000 or more hits and articles from the Tribune to Sherm, to every, but there's no original research. There's no source. And the organization that's claimed to be the source, I actually went to the global head of health and safety, and they said, we have no idea where this came up with. But think of it intuitively. If every company got $3 in return for every dollar they spent on wellness, wouldn't they be doubling down? But they're not. They're cutting cost. So now we said, okay, we've got a burning platform, and we've got a solution that doesn't work. Where do we go from here? Isn't this positive for you guys? <laughs> so then we saw that Gee, we've got the cart before the horse, and we heard that this morning when we went to the Mayo Clinic and met with Dr. Ahmed Sud and had our summit there. He said it's stress is the real culprit. Stress is the killer. Because of stress, work is now the fifth leading cause of death. We've got the cart before the horse. It's the happiness that needs to come before the wellness. It doesn't matter how many steps you take, how you eat, or whether you meditate. If you're not a fit for your job and you have a bad relationship with your boss, it's killing you. 